Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. Okay, so last session which we discussed about uh, about uh, how to write a playbook. Now we'll have to advance our playbook. Okay, so how to write good playbook. Now good playbook means what? See any language you learn no matter java python Perl, shell scripting whatever you are learning uh, you are writing a complex code and every language is you see variables okay. so here also you are doing coding so you need to learn variables uh, then here uh, after variables uh, every language we have a conditioning statement so here also we have it every language we have a uh, this one looping iterative so here we also have it so variables conditioning looping now i want you to learn the handler or template also what is template i'll show you now here i want you to learn handler also so these are the five topics which i'll talk about it for for the for this variables conditioning looping template handlers so whatever the variable type you can use it it's coming from python because ansible is developed using python so here i want to show you one page ansible variables devops <clears throat> cool so now here and civil variables i think spelling mistake so i want you to Just a second. Hmm. Okay. So so variables uh, you can declare in the playbook and you can declare in inventory. So the question is how can you declare variables in playbook? So this I'm trying to teach you. So now I want you to understand this code. <laughs> yeah, can you see my screen, right?
Yes. Hello. Yeah. So, guys, in playbook, uh, you can declare the variables in playbook itself. Variables and values you can embed in playbook. You can also define variable and value in the var files also there's one separate var file you can keep it for that you can also define variable value using prompt also prompt means user input okay that is the third options fourth options variables and value using task level also Task level and fifth one you can also define variable and value from a output of a tasks understand that very simple so these are the five uh, ways you can declare the variable and values okay. so that is something which we need to understand now let's understand first one so look at this first thing how do how this is the playbook so how do we declare variables hello i'm audible hello yes, i'm yes. audible yeah okay there's some pop up is coming on my screen so how do we declare the variable so this is the way vars section will come and here two space okay that you have to practice yaml key value variable value variable value variable value so that is the way you can declare the variable <clears throat> in the playbook now next thing is how do we use this variable how do we use it so remember this one look at this so package name is a variable which i declare here and apache 2 same program and curly braces so this is the way we use the variable so why we use the variables see something if you don't want to hard code everywhere and if you want to use multiple places we use variables. simple so now how do we let's say sometime what happens uh, too many variables keeping it here 20 30 40 50 variables are there keeping it here is not good it's not good so what to do so what we do we push into the variable files those variables so you see second options so you copy paste this whole item which i selected put it up in this variables.yaml and load it that is the second option <clears throat> third option is the variable you want to set but value you want user to provide while running the ansible playbook so in that case you can use this one vars prompt so if you see that here vars prompt here this is the variable and this is the message you will see on the prompt private no means whatever the you type it will not be dis uh, it will be disable by default it is yes so var prompts whatever you type it will be set here and then like this you can use it so these are the three ways to declare variables in playbook now remaining two ways so at the task level look at this here there is one file and in this file you have a variables like this just like this one okay but here 
you are loading in a task section task section that means you want to load the variable not for entire playbook but at a task level only playbook you may have a multiple play right so like that so here you are loading at task level so this is the fourth types of variable <clears throat> we are doing it next type of variables is whatever the output of the task should set as a result of value of the variable how do we do that so in this case you have to use a register remember that register interview questions this one so here this is a linux command shell module you are running in this directory whatever the output of this command it will come it will be set as a value for this variable and you can print debug is a module it's just like a print module print command or echo command so you can use it to print the different different things so did you understand these are the five places where we declare the variable and this is how we declare it any questions so far now next questions you you may have it rajesh what about if i set all these variables at all the places same variable my name rajesh kumar my name rajesh kumar 1 2 3 so same variable i set which value will be having highest precedence correct now so you can run it and find it also okay but you see here this is the precedence table if you pass over the command line highest precedence define in the play second precedence and inventory so here uh, right now we are discussing only this much okay so only we are discussing this one not this one not this one so in this also there are five ways to set the variable one two three four five correct now so which one will be higher having highest percent so here list precedence always when so list precedent means this is having list high and super high so like this you will see that precedence okay so that is uh you can check take care of so i think this this uh, image if you see it has a complete list of precedents uh not right now but if you go into the detail then you see that so you see here this one i'm talking about this one this one this one play bars bars from bar files task files so this is a precedent order and all so here you see this is having highest in our discussion lowest underscore hello yes yeah okay so this is the way you can declare the variables in playbook now let me run this this code now individually if you want to check it each variable so like this you can check it so here task level variable bars here this is the task level you can include a file also registrar you can set the environment in fact i'll talk about prompt and so on so now let me run this code now in order to run this code i need to have this file created so 
go for so vi enter copy i'm really not happy with this So now, Now I'm creating a file. Uh, this file, wars.yaml, vi, enter, copy. Uh, identical space should be there. Whatever you are keeping the first element, it should be consistent, identical to last line also. This file I created. Uh, this is Ubuntu, no problem. In this file index.html, do we have it? Yeah, yesterday vi index.html. Here I'll say HTML coding. So done so this is the index.html which is used here here now task lib variables creating one file in this putting the same variable duplicate precedence will apply and now this command to work in the current directory some txt file will be there should be there so do you have txt file there is one file i'll create one more file type file one dot txt so here this is working now having the values same you will not see the precedency so what i'll do this i'll let it be inside this i will say var files rajesh kumar in var files so here here in var files okay and here i will say rajesh kumar in task var file so vi Task underscore bar dot yaml. So value I'm changing, so it'll be easy. Now this code will install the Apache uh, Apache 2, same code which we are using last. Copy starting the service. This is variable used. Debug will just like a print, it will print the variable. Loading the task variable here you are printing my name and age 
debug uh, again printing here version which we are passing in the prompt here and finally this is shell command running some command and whatever the output is setting here and displaying all this thing so now let's check it out so vi vars var uh, web var dot yaml vi web var dot yaml enter save it find it this code is running with web which is a group in the inventory i'll make it local host save it and sybil hyphen playbook web bar dot yaml run it see they are prompting you which version you want to install as per this code so and if you see that here this has installed the apache copy the file which change is true start with the apache and if you see that here precedence is here rajesh kumar in var dot yaml file so that means here if you see this this task here here task you have not loaded actually mind it so if you compare this one and this one which is having highest precedence bars correct now but if you move this task just after this this will be having highest precedence and you see here this is something this is a user input now this did not work fatal error so here it says no such file in root ansible so root ansible okay this i forgot to modify so what is the current directory root rajesh so vi web bar dot yaml and here wrote rajesh save it and run this command enter and now you see that here i have a three debug module find out will give you the output of this one which is which is this big now if you know little bit of python this is a dictionary so key value key value key value and this is the lines two files found so if you want to display this one so here find out dot state line that means two file will display which you can see here and if you want to display first this is a list okay and first file so you have to give index number zero which you get it this way. so this is the way you can use the variables in the playbook did you understand that all of you yeah it is Rajesh. Yes. So now next one is fact variable what is a fact variable so let me show you some line here see here. so if you 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 might have noticed i did not write this task in my yaml file fact related but still it will run every time and it will say gathering task the gathering fact so what is a fact 
so fact basically is a module okay what you will do so fact module will help will give you the system information of ars i repeat fact module will give you the system information of ars you want to run it so fact module the name of the fact module is setup so let me run it using ad hoc commands so ansible uh, localhost run it iphone m setup no need to provide any arguments enter these are the fact of my Ubuntu VM. Pretty huge, right? So this is the system information. Just like you go to the my PC and then see the system information, right? Same way. Like this. My PC property. So these are all the details you see, correct? And more details you have in the different places. So it's a complete detail of my Linux. You want to know operating system so here ansible localhost i'm running for localhost hyphen m setup and grab that hyphen i os so what is os you see here this is the host name you got it ansible underscore host name this is the kernel cos family in the debian somewhere if you want to see version you can see version also so pretty huge list actually so setup module with uh, is a way to get the system information okay understood all of you yeah rajiv so what we can do you can in fact use that in your coding also let's say this one okay okay copy and you can add a code actually here so like this bi web var dot yaml you can write in the code also here yeah, last one save it and civil iphone playbook book and web var dot yaml and see here output is Javian so now I taught you how to set your own variable different places and then I said told you how to use the inbuilt variable fact variable also so now with that we can go to conditioning so in in ansible how do we set up a conditioning so just type ansible conditioning devops code so this one you can try this one also here so remember that very simple look at this the only code which i'm selling okay only code so here what is this this is the fact variable correct now yeah this is also so any variable starting with ansible underscore which is a fact variable yeah so here also ansible system so what we are doing and this is the code which you know very well or let me show you in the ubuntu which you are trying do we have it or not how is there so look at this 
this is the code you've been running but i want to run only if this condition is true so here is sage it's a truth table every programming languages you might have run it so ansible os family is equal to debian and is it true or false ansible system underscore linux true or false whatever the result true true and true you will get true true first false like that so whatever the results it will become for this statement so if it is true return final it will run it if it is a false it will not run it so that way what you can do you can write apt module when debian machine and a m module when rhl machine got it hello yeah yeah raj got it yeah mm -hmm. so you you should not expect when when uh, sorry uh, if else or something like that why because a dsl language not programming language so this is the way you put the conditions okay so now i will put the condition little odd so i want you to so right now my machine is one two but i'm putting that this one red hat so i'm not expecting this to run so vi web var dot yaml go to this one very odd condition just for the idea and this spacing should be ansible so please take care of it don't use tab in the yaml file dangerous ansible hyphen playbook web var var dot yaml and if you see that condition did not match so what happened skipped it understood yeah so this is the way you can put the conditioning in the playbook now how do we loop it so just put ansible looping devops code click on this so there is a you might be seeing two results is coming here okay i want you to understand this so here this is tutorial this is a blog so this is the old one actually so you will get still that it's relevant tutorial but right now i'm not updating every day every week over there so i'm updating blog only because easy to update so use the blog one okay okay so here how do we loop it so it's very simple let me show you one code here this is a simple code look at this so in this code you have a many example don't get lost but one example is sufficient to get started here so see the techniques for writing a loop in the ansible so if you want to let's say install three package so typically you will write three time task yum three yum module one for git or apt module right one for git one for httpd one for ntp and something like that okay but how do we do in the loop so mind it you have to use with items that is a one things it's a dsl language so you have to follow this one there's no for loop there's no while loop 
with items you can use it okay now what happens with item whatever this list you have it will run the iterative the range of the loop will become three because element three and every every iterating it will set first time it will set get second time it will set http and ntp so item is the variable automatically set by ansible so this time this task will run three times okay so get httpd ntp so let me just one it. quick question like uh, if you want to use only uh, httpd uh, not using then the you don't need item. a loop no then you don't need loop like if you need only two items then we need only enter the three two items right ha huh. see loop when you want is a fundamental you want to do multiple things same same thing you want to run in multiple times with a different parameter then you run a loop correct na for loop c c plus plus or java you might have studied yeah, yeah. so here also if we want to do multiple installation then we need a with items else we don't need it okay so now this you can add it so what to do so let me see if apt code is there or not is there git h top and vim you can add this code in the here vi web vars var actually yaml file go to the end of it one two one two one two one two one two one two so three code i'm installing through this apt package so let's check it out ansible hyphen playbook var web var now web var dot yaml last three jobs you have to see see it got failed why is got failed okay so it's got failed because the state i did not write properly installed is not a right state so this code is good code but it will not work why this is a problem i think so latest version is remove the installed or something no problem we'll check this troubleshooting is very important for for this so now here i will say present save it and civil hyphen playbook web var dot yaml enter see here all this software were already installed so it run three times which git which h top i don't know what is h top but is installed which m there right so guys this is the way we put the temp uh, looping in the code did you understand this yes. yeah okay so now template and handlers and next topic is roles will push to next session and we'll do that any questions so far
have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching